the moments are profound. Pivotal moments are important moments of our life that have the capacity to change the entire trajectory of our life. In this new series titled Pivotal Moments, I come to you with my experiences of such life-changing events and moments from my coaching world. Let me take you on a journey from conundrum to clarity. Meet Melissa. She is an IT professional with seven years of experience. She's a true workaholic. She works 15 hours a day and she has three promotions to her credit. She's doing very well, both in her personal space and professional space. But having come thus far, Melissa is now busy exploring a new idea that has now enveloped her mind. Melissa is now open to new opportunities. So when she heard and learned about a new role opening in a different department, but in the same company, without any forethought, she decided to join this new department. And even though she had an assistant of internal coaches available to her, she was in such a rush. The excitement of new role, new department, everything new, enveloped her sense of reasoning and the long-term consequences of making a hasty decision. This was also a turning point in Melissa's life because even though she agreed to join the department in as short span of for two weeks, she forgot that the seven years that she had spent in the current department her level of expertise was very soon turning into a mastery level would be completely put to an end with the new openings that she was now ready to embark on. Just three months into the role, life was not the same for Melissa. Even though every role comes with its own pros and cons and there's a lot to learn, you would have found Melissa was very disengaged. She showed up for the work every day. The people she worked with were a bunch of extremely nice and supportive people. And despite having the best of assignments, people around her to support her, Melissa found herself completely disengaged and constantly in search for an answers to question she struggles to articulate. She kept thinking to herself, did she did the right thing by making such a hasty decision? And she looked for ways through which she could correct the error or rather blunder that she had just committed. On a day to day basis, you would find Melissa that she would show up for work. She participated at work. She was just there. But hearts of hearts, she was not engaged at work. She was assigned the best of projects and she had good support freedom to learn and also freedom to execute. But deep down, there was something amiss. She was not happy. There was nothing wrong with the role or what it had promised her. Everything what was told, more or less, is what she was experiencing. But there was a gap which Melissa failed to understand. After two years of struggle in the current role, a lot of hard work, a lot of good and successful work, Melissa could not really find an answer to the many whys she had in her head. And finally, she called it quits. She resigned from her job with no job in hand. And the moment she resigned, she also understood that now she has, putting this experience together, a nine years of work experience. There were a lot of certifications, accolades, training to her credit, to her entire professional experience. But the one thing that Melissa was really missing at this point was the depth or expertise in one given domain. In short, she was everywhere. She knew a bit of everything. She had gained an experience in almost 
various things that she was supposed to know but she lacked depth if we try to summarize melissa's life and her confusion so far it can be summarized into three major points the first thing was melissa she lacked direction she didn't knew where she was headed she didn't knew why she was headed there depth and expertise because she had been shifting roles without gaining mastery levels in each of the domain that she that an it professional is required to do and beside this the most key factor that was missing here was the many wise that lay beneath the surface that were also responsible for regulating the thoughts marisa's mind was filled with and the behavior she executed this was a phase of melissa's life where she felt completely lost in a maze of opportunities roles jobs descriptions options but she could never arrive at one point which really synced up with what exactly where her strength her potential something that resonate with what she really wanted she would go back read her profile she would think of exploring another new domain she would want to go back to what she was doing and a lot more but at the same time this was just one part of the confusion that lingered on in melissa's head the other part was the deeper whys her impulsive behavior her need to find that satisfaction her quest for that particular role that really sync up with her inner desires but what are they what exactly is she was looking for and why was she thinking or exploring things this way was something wrong in her personal life was something amiss in her personal life that she was trying to cope up in her professional life in this way what was the gap what were the other factors that were impacting melissa and her thought process this and a lot more finally melissa was suggested by one of her former colleagues to consult a life coach so that she could find help and she don't really have to go and get herself lost in a maze that she was already in this was the time when i met melissa for the first time and as i say the rest is history our assignment went on for 3 months it was a one of the most interesting assignment that i had worked with melissa as i mentioned earlier on the surface when melissa connected with me and when we tried to understand what exactly that she was trying to arrive at it actually went looked like as if she had issues with a role job domain expertise depth experiences her lack of interest dissatisfaction but as we went deeper and deeper and understood the root cause there were a lot of interesting insights that we figured out together and in this entire assignment i have helped melissa learn several techniques that made her understand what exactly drives her the 3 month assignment was a very challenging thing for melissa it also brought her many a times to lot of inconvenience and discomfort because the many truths that she learned about herself she was not aware of the many factors in her life that were at play the values she held the priorities she missed why was she behaving this way and why she found herself in a constant state of confusion there was a lot that we covered beyond just the role titles and change of department these are the three major takeaways that i'm sharing with you which were actually a summary of the 3 month assignment with melissa the coaching assignment was a success towards the end not just melissa was clear 
The best part was she had a direction. She knew what exactly she wanted. She knew where she is headed. And most importantly, most importantly, she owned it up. She was aware that this is something, the decision that she had arrived at was by Melissa herself. She was the owner of her life. She was at the driver's seat. And this was something designed by her. This is what I call in my coaching where I usually share a regret-free decision. It's not that she would not have any regrets. The underlying theme here is more of being an owner. So in this given case, Melissa was the owner. She owned everything. She knew the new goals that she had set, the kind of risk they hold, whether or not if she fails, what will be the plan B. She completely owned her failures and her success. Now that she knew also what her values are, what her priorities are, she was aware that going forward, keeping all of this in consideration, what is it that would work best for her? And many other techniques that she could anytime practice, which she learned from me, when she feels confused. Our journey came to an after a three month vigorous work. It was an end of a coaching assignment, but it was a new beginning. It was a start of a new journey of a new Melissa with a complete clarity and new direction in life. Thank you friends. This was about Melissa. I shall come back to you with more such pivotal moments. Do let me know if you find yourself at crossroads of life or you find yourself at a confused state, lost in a maze. Some pivotal moments which have either shifted you or you want to create such moments which could transform you. Whatever the case may be, reach out, connect, get coach and set yourself up on a journey to success.